Okay. So nice to meet you again. My name is Kirby. I'm a writer producer. So I guess we'll just start with, if you could tell me, Corey, just a little bit about yourself and how you got into the industry. Okay. Um, so I'm Corey Loggins. Um, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, born and raised. Um, I come from a single parent uh, household, you know, raised by my mom. Um, how I got into the industry was when I was 16 years old. My mom, she got me um, involved in modeling and acting. So, you know, I was one of those kids that um, I wanted to kind of, I, I, like I said, I watched Disney Channel. I wanted to kind of get myself out there. I used to have, I tell some people this, but mm. I, I often say that I had like premonitions mm. of like, things that I would foresee that I'm doing now, but I really did. I couldn't explain it back then. So, okay. yeah. But you, but you, you felt like you knew you wanted to be in the industry somehow. Definitely. It was, it was really always around me being from, being that I'm from Atlanta. So. Yeah. How has, how has Atlanta played a part in, in your career? Cause I remember you saying you're not like the traditional model actor. So tell me about how that role Atlanta played in that and why, why do you think you're not the typical model actor? I mean, I, I said that I'm not a typical um, model and actor because of, I, I would like to say, like, my experiences. Like, I'm I'm from the inner city, the heart of the city of Atlanta before, you know, like, the gentrification and things that have been taking place now. Yeah. So it's like, I'm a representation of, of it all. I've just been kind of mobile throughout the whole process and transition, um, you know, of life and just kind of um, at, at some point in time, kind of playing the back and, and just kind of taking everything in up until this point to where it's like, I would say different phases and um, different levels, I would say. Okay, okay, okay. And when would you say was your first like real introduction to the industry? Was it like a, a, a show, a fashion show? Was it like an acting gig? When do you think you had that first like aha moment, if you will? I, I'm going to say definitely when I was 16, um, I used to always, well, I, I still do apply myself yeah. and uh, admitting myself and, you know, just just always having that hunger yeah. mentality of knowing that if you want something done, no one is really going to fight for you the way that you're going to fight for yourself. So um, for me, like I said, when I was 16, I was in 10th grade, mm -hmm. I booked for tv one's fatal attraction okay okay you know, national hit tv show so i was real excited about that and i remember just you know waking my mom up and telling her like i was gonna be on t television <laughs> that's amazing that's amazing and what's and okay so let me ask you now there's a lot of like productions being made in atlanta and you know of course the, for a long time there was that conversation that if you want to do tv you want to do film all that kind of stuff you got to be in la and new york what are thoughts on that and how do you feel like Atlanta's growing not only in music but in film I mean you know as you know that we just got out of um the actor strike yeah but um I, I still that's something that I'm still um trying to figure out to be quite honest I know like for um the marketplace that Atlanta has of course is big influence on music yeah and um and acting as well now yeah, but um, I would pretty much say that that's something that I'm I'm, I'm still kind of getting a grasp of as far yeah. as like which 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 is it? But I mean, they they pretty much work hand in hand, just like you know, modeling and being in um, music videos and things like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you say? How is it balancing like a career and your lifestyle just in Atlanta? You know, Atlanta's such a like fast paced city. So how do you find that like work life balance? Because sometimes being in the industry, I feel like it can be like all encompassing. Like it's like all you're thinking about, all you're doing. So how do you make time for a personal life? Um, how do I make personal time for my life? Is just you know I always like to be busy and you know maintain having you know just that 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 busyness yeah. of um just being staying current and sometimes you're not going to be able to necessarily dictate how your life goes you know life throws you a lot of different curveballs and things right. like that at the maneuver with with the time and things like that 
Yeah. Yeah. Can you talk to me about some of the curveballs that you've had to encounter to, and, you know, go through a ch some challenges maybe you've gone through personally that you had to like push through um, to get to where you are? Definitely. Um, I would say, you know, just taking different chances and and not really playing it safe. I, yeah. I had and downs and people that, uh, you know, like I say, um, in this industry, you know, a yeah. lot of times they say where, where you meet, your uh your idols i don't idolize anybody mm -hmm. but when you really get to know people and, and who they really are yeah you get this flaws in people that you really shouldn't put anybody on a pedestal and yeah you know in order the process of hard work like it's very imperative that you don't skip steps because yeah. those those pushbacks and those those um setbacks are what would teach you how to maneuver and they give you certain lessons on how to apply yourself in life yeah yeah who are this wait first of all this sounds personal was there someone like you met that, <laughs> that kind of was like this is not how it's supposed to go it, you don't gotta use names but was it, it did this personally happen of course it did i mean i don't i'm not gonna drop any names for sure but yeah it's 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 crazy i seen you know people that um maybe have been on television yeah they do one thing uh that's angle on television versus them doing something completely different in their personal life and me knowing yeah, yeah. Like, who it kind of is mind-blowing but yeah yeah who are some people who do inspire you whether it be in the industry or personally um people that inspire me i'm gonna be i'm gonna be quite honest okay. uh first and foremost i'm gonna have to say dave east okay mm-hmm he talks just to clear up, you know, all of the the um speculation. I would say for him, he he inspires me because you know he has kind of like that similarity of coming from nothing and having to deal with adversity and um a lot of hardships. Yeah. But you know, continuing to persevere and you know what I'm saying and be a family man that he is and um. I'll say another person is definitely T.I. being now from Atlanta. Yeah, very Atlanta answer. I love the T.I. The T. You got to throw T.I. in there as well. Um, so tell me, what do you see? Like, where do you see your career going? Like, if you could write out, like, this is my dream career. This is how I see it looking. Tell me what you would be doing, some of the projects you want to be working on, and how you're working to get there. Every day is a constant grind. So mm -hmm. work never stops. Um, where I see my career. Yeah. Um, like I said, basically continuing to to um push forward, build relationships. Yeah. I'm gonna foremost, I don't have the same experience that other people may have. I'm very, you know, in alignment and true to what I have going on. Mm -hmm. So for me, networking is a huge uh thing to me. Meeting mm -hmm. like my people that that look like me, that that it don't matter what with where you are in the industry, where you are, you have to start somewhere. Yeah. So and said, when we then understand that you have a, a start point, it may not look like the end result or, you know, the glitz and the glamour and things like yeah. that. Yeah. That you have to roll themselves. Yeah. What's been your most memorable? I was looking kind of at your Instagram. I seen like the red carpets and everything. What's been your most memorable experience thus far? Definitely um, the red carpets. Those are yeah. one of I, I won't forget because I remember being at a time, you know, playing, yeah. playing, playing myself on the back. But even sometimes when you when you play the back, it's it's good because when you're if you're always in the front, then you can't see what's behind. You can't see what's from the side. So yeah. you have an angle of, of being able to visualize what's behind and you're able to, you know, navigate and see, OK, if I do this, then I might need to do this better. So it's always about. Yeah. Um, just increasing yourself, but definitely the red carpets for sure. Yeah. Those are moments for me. No, that's true. I feel like when you're like maybe like on a set and you've been like a PA or a, a background extra, it makes you appreciate being like an actor more because you're like, I know what everybody's doing. I know how much this is being done right now. So that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot. Of, now you've mentioned a lot about like growing up in the inner city and some of the challenges you've dealt with. And all. how do you think that played a part in your career? Like, do you think that that drives you? Do you think does it ever like maybe diminish you a little bit? Make you know make it more of a struggle? Like, what role do you think some of those challenges that you um, encountered have played 
in your life? I think I asked that right. <laughs> I think, um, like for me, it it allows me to to be humble. It allows me to be more understanding that you know everybody there at different places in their life, wherever whether it's a homeless person, or whatever. I grew up around homeless um, individuals, so I I understand. I have you know a little bit more um, compassion for them. Yeah. Just well, so it's like. My my purpose in, in me even doing this is not just for me, bigger than me. It's really to inspire someone who looks like me, someone who may not know how to basically navigate how to get in, but they they had this dream. They got this dream that, you know, maybe God has given them. Yeah. But I'm doing this beyond myself. Like, I want to be able to inspire someone else and, you know, provide them that, that, that sense of hope. Yeah. That's important. Okay, so I have two more questions. I, you've spoken a lot about like charity and the work that you've done. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? Because I feel like that ties in as well. Uh, yeah, most definitely. So I feel like um, it's important to always, you know, give back. Yeah. And um, that's that's really what it's all about. Like, you know, you receive blessings when you not just take, but, but when you give. And I think that it's, it's important to to pay it forward because you never know who's watching. There's always somebody watching. So I feel like um, if, we in the, if we're in a position to help, then it's our duty and obligation to to help each other and, you know, to to keep the ball rolling forward. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And then lastly, this is a question I asked in all my interviews, and I got to ask you too, if you could give a piece of advice to someone who's maybe an aspiring model, an aspiring actor, even in Atlanta, but maybe in a different city too, that's just like, I'm trying to get out there more. I'm trying to really, I, I, if you could give me two, like I know, of course, like broad advice, but maybe something tangible too, like whether it be like stay on social media or network or give like two pieces of advice that you would you would give to that aspiring model or actor. I'm gonna say this first and foremost. Uh, mm-hmm. Keep God first because that 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 is the way. That's yeah. the only thing. If you don't have a relationship with God, then I don't know. You'll just be lost out here. And yeah. you know, all, all things good come through God. So I would say first and foremost, keep a relationship with God. Mm-hmm. Um, continue to to build your network. Respect each and everyone that's in the room because the, the person that you least count out will be the person that can give you that that yeah. opportunity uh, connect you with the person that you need to know so it's you, you never want to count people out because the way god works is the the person that you count out is the person that goes up so yes and I you know that. That's I believe it. I believe it. Well, thank you so much. I'm excited to to share your story and like, you know, good luck on everything you're working on. I know there's a lot moving. So I think it's crazy. We both know Nathan, like the world is so small. Well, yeah. yeah. So wow. that's, that's yeah. So cool. uh, I love Nathan. Yeah. He's such a, he's yeah. so cool. Yeah. He's the right for him. But yeah, thank you so much. Is there anything else you think you would like viewers or readers to know about you? Um, no, I think we pretty much cover everything. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, well, I, well, thank you. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Good weekend. Thank you. You too. I appreciate you. No problem. Take care. Bye.